This is Atmos. This is uh, one of my favorite series of uh, pads that I put together for this. And again, it's meant to uh, showcase some of the stereo capabilities again of the machine. And it uses a lot of the tricks I showed on the other uh, patch to do some fun stuff. So let me just play you a single note here without the effect. <laughs> effects on, we'll play a nice big chord. Let's break this guy down. So this is a uh, single element again. So I've got one operator on the aftertouch to do the um, inharmonic uh, component there. Uh, I have a low frequency fixed that has an envelope that is open for a period of time, then shuts off to do the pulsing effect. Um, I've got some background pitch EG affecting some of the operators, which give it that nice slow uh, pitch slide uh, through it. So let's break it down. So we're using algorithm 16 here, and we've got three, two, and sorry, we've got three and two feeding into op one, four and five doing the same, and then six coming in off the side. So let's show you what we got here. Sorry. So one is a pure fixed frequency, uh, zero, 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 and that is because I'm using this guy sort of as a wave shaper, even though I'm using a sine, so I'm technically not. Um, but a lot of this has to do with the genesis of this series. So that's there. We have our two and three stack, which is a slightly out of tune square wave because we've got two being fed into two by three, and that's a two to one. We've got our four and five, and four is the 0.5. We got one low frequency fixed here on op five. And then we've got uh, the one for op six. So I'm gonna turn off each group here so you can hear what's going on. So this is uh, three and two into one. So this is a very low, low volume square wave that comes in with the aftertouch. Now you remember that ratio was 2.06, so it's slightly off. Plus, I've got the pitch envelope uh, basically doing a slow LFO type motion on OP3. So you can hear that going on. So you can see I have it turned on for op three. Also have it turned on for op five. And the EG is very, very, very slow. Um, we've got zero rates and we're going plus or minus 16 and the depth is the full eight octaves. So let's go back to our four 
I'm sorry, yeah, for five pair. Remember, that's these guys right here. So this is your basic FM one-to-one -one type of relationship. And it's a essentially a sawtooth type wave that's going to be an octave below our guys over here. Um, and I'm using the fixed frequency to do this little LFO wobble effect. Now what's important to notice about this guy is how I have it different on both parts of the stereo pair. I have a phase offset value of 64, which in XSY language is basically 180 degrees out of phase. And that's what's going to cause the ping pong panning um, of this harmonic component in the final sound. So the back and forth panning that you hear is related to this operator. And if we go to its envelope page, let's go to the each for five, it's basically set to go through and uh, gate off after a long period of time. So we look at our levels. Um, we have a level of 40 after it stays up really, really high um, in the 50s and 60s. So I'm going to go to the graphic page here. You can see it a little bit better. It's 238. So we've got a whole time before it kicks in. And then we've got the 14, 7, and 2. And then it slowly goes down. And it goes basically up to our max and down to 40. So that brings in that um, element that's the... Uh, panning of the one-to-one -one harmonic series in there. So let's turn on our operator page here again. We got everybody here, so let's play that in isolation. So you can hear the delay before the wobble comes in. Now it's gone. You only hear the two-three pair. If I put the aftertouch, you'll hear the three come in. And you can hear that pitch sweep going up and down. Operator 6 is just another harmonic component that's giving our basic tone. So what we're going to do here, let's go back in and go back to stereo mode. This was left 6. Oops. Okay, so now left channel right channel. So again, these two are detuned from one another a little bit. We've got the hard panning. There's a couple other things I like to do for my stereo effects. So let's go to our um, LFO page here. And you can see the LFOs are different waves with one variation of speed. So the little bit of pitch mod I have going on are just going to always kind of be out of phase. I give some space, but I talked about the sub LFO and the other patch. We're going to take a look at it, and basically, I've got them doing different types of pitch. On the um, side of the uh, number one element, it's basically a vibrato type rate. I'll accentuate it. All right. On the other side, it's much, much slower, a speed of 22. So now when these two interact, it's kind of like a synthesized chorus. So even though the two elements are detuned, it's not critical for that to go on. So I talked about the importance of um, the op five being out of sync. Because this is the fixed frequency that's making the pulsing effect of the harmonic content that's coming through the 4-5 stack. So they are the same wave, which is just a sine wave, okay? But they are out of phase 180 degrees. And now because I have those panned hard left and hard right, that com component of the harmonic spectra will pan for as long as the op 4 eg has significant level. So that's where that's coming from. So check this out.
So to show you what happens, let's turn off the phase offset between them so they're both zero. Okay. And now it's just going to pulse. If we do 32, we're going to offset them instead of 180 degrees, it'd be 90 degrees. So if you guys are familiar with playing with the phase uh, settings on phasers and choruses, that it kind of changes the way the stereo spread is, it's sort of going to do something very similar. Back to 64. Now we can change the shape of that um, thing. Let's go to our 13 and 14 waves here. So you can see how that's much more discreet. And if you look at the shape of the wave, that makes sense. Let's go to our three wave. This is just the unipolar half cycle. So again, subtly different. The wacky wave in the SY series is wave four. Now that's got the double peaks, so let's take that uh, speed down to half. So let's take it out to seven tenths. 744 will be fine. enough. Anyway, let's put our effects back on, get the full effect. Major there. 